Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Gary. <laughs> but don't just sit there, cherubs. Let's have some fun. <laughs> One, follow me. La 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 la. La 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 la. Oh, that was good fun, wasn't it? Look what I've got. Someone's missing from home today. Ah, uh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Ah, uh, it's Samson. Dr. Gino. <laughs> Dr. Gino. Hello, Assassin. Come on, boy. Get good. Come on. Come and see Granny. Come and call. That's the way. <laughs> come and say hello to Samson. Oh, Samson, look who's come to say hello. <laughs> Gentle now. Oh, we don't want to get him overexcited, do we? Oh, we're going to the carnival parade later. <laughs> yeah, oh, here, I think that's enough patting, isn't it? Into your basket, Samson. Good boy. Oh, why don't you two dress Claude up as a carnival dancer, Pancakes? <laughs> I love carnivals. Then let's Mardi Gras to our cheers. <laughs> 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 So you like a bop, do you, when you go to a carnival? Oh, yes. Today's carnival is going to be fantastic. Samson's going to love it. Oh, I know. <laughs> We've got him a big bow for his collar. Oh, he'll <laughs> love that. The sausage. Do you know, I've been to some amazing carnivals over the years. Once, I dressed up as a clown. <laughs> and then another time, I dressed up as an opera star with a big Viking helmet. <laughs> <laughs> I dance and dance until I drop. <laughs> oh, lovely. But you won't be able to go to the carnival this year. Oh, no. Well, I'm working, aren't I? But you know what I think? I think carnival time can be any time. <laughs> oh, look at you. You've created your very own carnival right here for me in my living room. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You're right, Granny Murray. Right. <laughs> I better get to work. Oh, Samson. Bye bye, Samson. Be a good boy. Oh, thank you. Look at this. A special carnival bow just for me. Come on, then. Bye bye, Dr. Juno. Bye. Now remember carnival time can be any time. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye bye, Dan, and I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep a wee eye on Dr. Juno and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm in a bit of a hurry today. Which is the best way to work? Thank you. I'm in a need in a hurry. I really, really need to speak to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on a trip wing. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry on the tram lights. Clutter, clutter, clutter at the point. Let me hear you say, yo, yo, carnival. Hello, here's your patient's notes. Nurse Hendry, I think whilst we're at work in the hospital, we should forget about the carnival, OK? You're right, Dr Juno, sorry. We don't want to upset the patients by reminding them about what they're missing outside. Right, I'll just, uh... Oh, don't worry about 
let me nurse, just save the others. Raymond, are you all right? Ah, <laughs> Dr. Junois. I'm fine. I just fell over in my carnival garb. Pretty silly, actually. You're telling me. You could have an accident in those stilt things. Oh, poo-poo. Get in the carnival mood. Actually, I just popped it in to ask you what kind of salsa dance moves I can use at the carnival parade today. Any groovy tips? Dance tips? Oh, yeah. Actually, you could... I mean, my tip for you is to take off those silly platform shoes. I don't want you to end up in casualty later on. I see. So, no chance of a dance lesson in... <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm very busy with my patients. The carnival is outside and I don't want it to affect anything in the hospital. Excuse me. What's up with Dr Juno? But I hope you have fun at the carnival, Samson. I love to skip in rivers and mingle, rivers and mingle by the sea. I love to skip in rivers and mingle, rivers and mingle, that's for me. Come on, thank you, Samson. Good boy, good boy. Oh, you like that game, don't you, Samson? And you can play it with Dr. Juno when she comes home from work. Yes, whoop! Uh-huh. Ready, fetch! Good boy, good boy! Come on, good boy! I love to skip the river she mingle, river she mingle by the sea. I love to skip the river she mingle. I wish I was with you now, Samson. Wearing silly costumes, wearing silly costumes, wearing silly <coughs> costumes. Oh, hi, Doc. Come into the parade. No, I'm not. And may I remind you that this is a working hospital. It's not fair on the patients to keep reminding them of what they're missing at the carnival. Uh, chill, Doc. I thought you loved carnivals. We've sung and danced at enough of them together in the past. I'm busy working and running a hospital. Ooh. OK, dude. Suit yourself. Pity you're going to miss all the fun. Let's split, Chuck. We'll be wearing silly costumes on parade. Oh. We'll be wearing silly costumes on parade. I really want to join in the carnival fun, but I can't. I've got so much work to do. I better get on with it. It's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be. I'm rushing here and there to be here. It's so exciting in the hospital. Trolleys gliding patients through the corridors. Flashing blue lights right up to the door. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there. Oh, yeah. I'll be there to comfort you at all times. I'll be there to see all is fine I'll be there whenever I'm needed, yeah To hear the heartbeat beating time Don't worry, I'll always be kind I'll bring a smile and take away your worries, yeah Nurses and doctors, you must understand and I haven't had a rest yet. Doctor Juno, uh, Raymond and Tina are in the examination room. Tina's hurt her wrist. Oh no, what's happened? Have you had an accident, Tina? Uh, thanks to Raymond. Eh, uh, yes. I was practising my carnival dancing in the kitchen and tripped over on my big shoes and fell on top of Tina. I told you you'd have an accident with those daft still things. Yes. It's all my fault. Is Tina going to be all right? Can I see your wrist, Tina? Is it sore when you bend it? Well, I don't think it's anything serious. You may have a small fracture. So we better get you along to x-ray. OK, thanks, Dr Juno. Uh, Dr Juno, mm. is there any way we can hurry this up? It's just that we we're really looking forward to seeing the carnival parade and now we might miss it. The carnival? <clears throat> I think the less said about the carnival, the better. Oh, right. Understood. Come on, Tina. 
We're all gonna miss the carnival parade. But I hope you have a woofy time, Samson. Tina, you only have a surface fracture. Oh, great. So now what? Well, we'll put a temporary splint on your wrist and you'll be right as rain. Nurse Hendry will look after you. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Silly old me, eh? <laughs> so Tina is going to miss the carnival parade. Raymond, these things can't be rushed. Hey, this way, Tina. I'm tired of hearing about this carnival parade. Well, some people enjoy it, you know. Spoil sport. Spoil sport? Me! But I love the carnival. Oh, great. I've been working hard all day looking after my patients and keeping them happy. And I've missed the carnival. Why am I being called a spool sport? Where did the time go? At 8 o'clock, I dropped off Samson at Granny Murray's and the children dressed Claude as a carnival dancer. They were all off to see the River Sea Fingal Carnival Parade later. At 9 o'clock, I got to work and decided to forget about the carnival parade. At 10 o'clock, Nurse Hendry was in carnival mood. So was Raymond. He wore some really high stilt shoes for his costume. But I told them both to forget about having fun at the carnival and just think about work. At 11 o'clock, the ferry boat band started singing a carnival song in the hospital. I was cross and told them to stop having fun. I thought it would upset the patients. At 2 o'clock, Raymond and Tina arrived. Tina hurt her wrist when Raymond fell on her as he was practicing his carnival dance in his stilts. At three o'clock, Tina went off to have a splint put on her wrist. It was nothing serious, but the treatment would take time. I told Raymond that it meant they would miss the carnival parade so he should just forget all about it. And he then called me a spoiled sport. Now remember, carnival time can be any time. Oh yes, carnival time can be any time. Raymond! I'm sorry I was a spoil sport. <laughs> How about we have our very own carnival parade right here in the hospital? Oh, yay! Then the patients won't have missed out after all. Oh, first we need carnival costumes. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, for sure, she will get there in the end. Because she knows what she should do. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to beat the clock before the chime. I'm going to start it. She's going to start it. I'm going to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Okay, is everyone ready to start the hospital carnival parade? Yay! Let the parade begin. Take it away, Louis and Chuck. <laughs> Be careful on those stilts, Raymond. I'm fine. Whoa. That was lucky. I think one accident in the family's more than enough, don't you? <laughs> I hope you had as much fun at the carnival as we're having, Samson. Samson, Dr. Juno will be here for you soon. Dr. Juno, come away in. 
Samson. Look Hello, who's Samson. here. Hello, Samson. Hey, good boy. Oh, look at that wagging tail. Samson wants to say thank you, Granny Murray. And thank you from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Carnival time can be any time. It saved the day. Oh, gracious. Come on now, you'll want to be off. Come on, Samson. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, baking, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a carnival dancer because it was carnival time in Riversea Fingal. Dr. Juno dropped Samson off and was sad she was going to miss the parade. So she had a quick dance before she went to work. We took Samson for a walk in the park. He needed to burn off some energy before we went to watch the carnival. Then we went to watch the parade go by. There were all sorts of incredible costumes. We saw the ferry boat band too. Louie and Chuck waved to us and played us a special tune. Later, Dr Juno came to pick up Samson and said she'd had her very own carnival parade at the hospital, so she didn't miss it after all. Do you like to dress up for parties and carnivals? <laughs> Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Zane and we've got Brian. But don't just sit there, puppets. Come on, let's have some fun. We are going to stick some of these postcards into Granny Murray's scrapbook. Would you help? Oh, there's River Sea Bingle. That's where we live. Stick it on. Good boy. That's the stuff. Well, we've got Zane and we've got Brian, but someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Rebecca with Mickey John. Hello there. <laughs> Mickey John. Hello. <laughs> and Rebecca, come away through my honey pie. You doing it by yourself? Wow, oh, look at all those postcards. Oh, I know, from all over the world. Well, maybe I'll add to your collection. I'm sailing on the ferry boat over to Belgium. Oh, with the ferry boat band. Oh, fantastic. Here, why don't you all dress Claude up as the ferry boat band? Oh, cool, dude. <laughs> and we can jam over to the cheers, Mickey John. Oh. <laughs> so, you're off to Belgium, are you? That's right, I'm taking my school photography group. We're going to take photos of the city. I'm going to show the children how to take photos from all sorts of different angles. Oh, I love pictures of different cities and towns. Oh, especially when they're taken from a bird's eye view. Oh, you get to see so much more, look. Oh, that looks fantastic. Hey, I wonder what River Sea Fingal would look like from that angle. I know. I asked Dr Juno if she would take the children to see the view from the top of our hospital block, but she's been too busy. So, I'm taking the children on the big wheel today. Sometimes it's quicker to do things yourself. Wow, Rebecca's always wanted to go on that. Will you bring me a postcard back from your trip? One with a bird's eye view? No problem. <laughs> look at Claude. <laughs> Oh. Wow, you look great, Claude. Really cool, ma'am. Well done, my darlings. Well, I better be going. Daddy. Oh, what's this? It's a picture of the big wheel. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> well, see you later, guys. Have fun. <laughs> Come on, then. <laughs> now remember, sometimes it's quicker to do things yourself. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. You keep a wee eye on Mickey John. Make sure he goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views 
stepping along and swinging my arms, singing my way through the city's charms. Getting there is just so fine. I so enjoy my walking time. I always go the way I know. Can you show me the way I go? Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! Okay, right, to the school. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, Ali. Hello, doors. Hello, steeple. Hello, walls. Hello, people! He's on his way to work today. Laughing this way and away. Hey! Do I go up now? Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Up! OK, that way. Up! You told me the way to go. Thank you. You show me the way I know. Here I am. Now what? Ah, yes, thanks. I need to put my tie on. All snazzy and ready to go. Oh, eight o'clock. My photography group should be here soon, so I better get the photographic gear sorted. Oh, look at that. Look at the way the sun's hitting the kids' pictures. i never seen that before. That's got to be worth a snap. What about this? Good morning, Mickey John. <laughs> Your carriage awaits. You shall go to the ball, Cinders. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tina. Thanks for coming to take us to the ferry boat. Uh, have you got your tickets? Oh, yes, they're in my desk. Here they are. Well, the head teacher's putting the children into the back of the taxi right now. Right. Let's get cracking. So, here we all are. All ready to snap away? Yes. Hey! Oh, now, did I remember the ferry boat tickets? Ah, here they are. And here's Rebecca's big wheel picture. I hope you're having a nice time, Rebecca. <laughs> right, off we go. Love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Let's all be a train like Gary. Good idea, Gary. Woohoo! Oh, and then up to the side, up this way. Woo! And then back down this way. Woohoo! Woohoo! Rebecca, your dad will be up there travelling to get to the ferry. He'll be on all the busy roads. And we're zooming through the tunnels. What are you doing now, Daddy? I'll show you that photo later, Rebecca. Oh, nearly at the ferry boat. Here we are at the ferry boat. Oh, nine o'clock. Right on time. Back on in. This is on the school account, Tina. Well, you have a happy, snappy day. Oh, I hope so. Bye, Tina. Bye. 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 Ah, we should be off soon. <laughs> You're Mickey John. You didn't tell us you'd be along for the ride. I forgot. Still, <laughs> here we are, off to bruise with my photography group. Oh, right. Uh, want any pics of the stars of the show? Actually, we do. <gasps> Cameras, <laughs> lights, action. Oh, anchor's away, dude. So it's time for some work. Let's <laughs> rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> I got a funny one out. The ferry boat band, they play the ferry boat sails away Floating down the river to the ocean waves The captain
captain steers his way as engine pound away Turning down the river to the rhythm of the band The radar swings, the very band sings The captain taps his satellite map Sailing out to sea on the noon time Clap your hands to the ferry boat band Wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beats Swing to the sway like the waves on the sand Bob to the music and stamp your feet The waiter's servants wait, clattering the trays to the splash of the waves. The sailors work away as passengers dream their day, eating in the buffet as the ferry band play. Oh, sailing out to sea, riding on the waves, rocking to the ocean roar. As the ferry boat band did play some more. Clap your hands to the ferry boat band, wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beats. Swing to the sway like the waves on the sand Bob to the music and stamp your feet Clap your hands to the ferry boat band Wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beat Swing to the sway like the waves on the sand Bob to the music and stamp your feet Oh, we're here! All ashore! <laughs> Seen the way back then, Ricky John? Oh, you guys were brilliant! Oh. We all had a boogie! <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy your visit. All right, girls. Are you ready to be a happy snappy? Yeah. Go. Come on. <laughs> That's it, everyone. Take photos of everything you see. Unusual buildings, statues, people eating different foods. Everything is so different here. Snap away. <laughs> children. Look at the horse and cart. Let's take a photo of the clock tower. Right. Hmm. I reckon it must be lunchtime. That's it, girls. Sit yourselves down. Whoa. Now, have a look at the menus and decide what you want to eat. The food in here is lovely. Oh. <laughs> I wonder what Rebecca can see from the big wheel. Oh my girls, look! What a bird's eye view you get from up here! Oh, Rebecca, there's Nicholson's department store. Remember Granny when he told you about it? What else can we see? Can you see the castle? Look! Can you see? Yeah. Oh, it's lovely with the sun behind it. What are you, Daddy? Mm. Scrummy or what? Oh. oh, time's getting on. That meal took longer than I thought. We better get a move on if you want to get to the ferry boat on time. Come on. This way to the ferry boat. Oh, hang on a minute. I haven't got Granny Money's postcard yet. Granny Money specially asked for a bird's eye view of the city. Hmm. None of these are quite right. Hmm. It's nearly four o'clock. The ferry boat will be leaving soon, so I haven't got time to go around the postcard shops. What am I going to do? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped off Rebecca at Granny Murray's. Granny Murray said she was taking the children on the big wheel today. She was looking forward to getting a bird's eye view of Riversy Fingal, and she asked me to bring her back a postcard with a bird's eye view of the city we were off to visit. At eight o'clock, I got to school and started getting their camera equipment ready. Tina called by in her taxi. She drove us all to the ferry boat terminal. At nine o'clock, we met Louis and Chuck on the ferry. At one o'clock, we arrived. We said goodbye to Louis and Chuck and set off to take lots of photos of the city. At three o'clock, we stopped at a cafe for lunch. At four o'clock, we finished lunch, but it took longer than I expected. It was almost time for the ferry to leave for home, and I'd forgotten to buy a bird's eye view postcard for Granny Murray. Now remember, sometimes it's quicker to do things yourself. Sometimes it's quicker to do things yourself. Of course, instead of buying a bird's eye view postcard, I'll take the photo myself from the top of the tower. It's a race against time. I gotta do it, I gotta do it. I gotta beat the clock before the chime. I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it. I gotta do the job on time. 
like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? Yes, it shows we are friends, he will get there in the end because he knows what he should do. I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. He's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. I like a busy bee. I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. John, you've made it just in time. Yeah, well, it was a bit of a rush, and there was all those steps to climb. Still, we're here now. Is the uh, ferry boat Photoshop open yet? Yep. Oh, great. I can't wait to show these photos to Granny Murray and Rebecca. <laughs> right, come on, guy. Off we go. Oh, we had a great time with the big wheel, didn't we, my darling? You draw the other half of our big wheel, and then we can remember forever and ever the day we went on the big wheel. Very neat. Now we'll draw the wee circles for the wee carriages. That's the way. Will we give it to Dad? OK, my darling. I miss you, Daddy. Mickey John. Hi, Granny Murray. Ha-ha, <laughs> come away <laughs> through. Hello. Did you have fun at the big wheel? <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> oh, and I got a bird's eye view for you, Granny Murray. That's just the kind of photo I was after. Thanks, sausage. I'll stick it in my scrapbook. <laughs> Say thanks to Granny Murray, Rebecca. My <laughs> pleasure. And it's thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying sometimes it's quicker to do things yourself. Save the day. Oh, well, fancy that. Well, come on, you two. You'd better be off home. <laughs> Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Rebecca, let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, wagging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shooting, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things and rushing round. What was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a member of the ferry boat band because Mickey John was travelling on the ferry today. He was taking his photography group to Bruges in Belgium. I asked him to bring me back a postcard with a bird's eye view of the city. And I wanted to show the children a bird's eye view of River Sea Fingal. So we all set off for the big wheel. First, we had to take an underground train Rebecca wondered if her dad was passing over the top of them as he travelled to the ferry boat. We arrived at the big wheel and went right up to the top. We could see the whole of River Sea Fingal down below us. It looked so different and so tiny. Then we came home and drew pictures of the big wheel. Rebecca wanted to give her picture to Mickey John. And when he arrived, Mickey John gave me a lovely bird's eye view photo from his trip abroad. He took the picture because sometimes it's quicker to do things yourself. There, I love sticking pictures in my scrapbook. <laughs> and this one's extra special. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Gary. But don't just sit there, Poppins. Let's have some fun. Oh, wow, flags. Do you know that all different countries have a different flag? This is the American flag. British flag. Like this one. This is Italian flag. What we're going to do today is we are going to make our own flags. We'll stick on the straw 
where you can do anything you like. I think my flag might have swirly bits. You gonna copy that one, good boy? And you doing a flower field? <laughs> well, we've got Gary and we've got Rachel, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Yes, it's Samson with Dr. Juno. Hello there. Dr. Juno. Oh, and my Samson. Oh, come and say hello to Samson. Oh, Samson, look who's come to say hello. Oh, that's a wee nice and gentle. Oh, we don't want to get him over excited, do we? How about stopping the pats and dressing up Claude? <laughs> that's right, Granny Murray. Into your basket, Samson. Oh, he'll get a good view there while you dress Claude up in lots and lots of flags. Should we have a sit down? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All these flags remind me. It's your big day today, isn't it? You're going abroad? That's right, I'm taking the ferry boat and then I'm doing a sponsored bike ride. Oh, well, pass me your sponsor sheet. I'll sponsor you. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you've got a lot of sponsors. Well, everyone's been so kind. Since you're going such a long way from home today, I thought I would take Samson to the pet shop for a wee treat. <laughs> Sounds like you're both going to be so busy, you won't have time to miss me. Oh, no worries there. Well, actually, there is something that I am a bit worried about. Oh, what's that? Foreign languages. It's not my strong point. Never mind, darling. A smile can work wonders. Oh, here, take this with you for luck. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, look at Claude. <laughs> Oh, wow, check you out, Claude. A real man of the world. <laughs> well done, darlings. <laughs> oh. Bye, Samson. <laughs> Bye. Come on, then. <laughs> now remember, a smile works wonders. Oh, thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Dr. Juno? Make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm in a bit of a hurry. How can I get to work quickly? Thank you. I'm in a need in a hurry. I really, really need to speak to work. I'll take a take a ticket on a trip way. I'll be 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 there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry on the tram line. I need to get changed. All dressed and ready to go. Hey, Nurse Hendry. Morning, super cyclist. Are you all limbered up and ready to go? Just about. I've got some supplies for you. I've got water, an energy bar, some emergency euros, mm -hmm. and a first aid kit. Oh, I hope I won't need that. I bet if you do, then there it is. Oh, and of course, a puncture repair kit. Oh, that's brilliant. Thanks a million. <laughs> no problems, Dr. J. Good luck. Right. I've got my gear, my bicycle, ooh, and the kit from Nurse Hendry, and the flag from Granny Murray. I think that's everything. Or was there something else? Don't go anywhere without this. Satellite navigation unit. You mentioned that you'd lend that to me. Yeah, it's great for long journeys. I take it hiking with me. Cool, thanks. Oh, that reminds me. Check this out. <laughs> Un kilometer. But I don't speak French. I don't want directions in French. All right, all right. Calm yourself down. It's really easy to change it. There. Au revoir. <laughs> well, thanks, Mickey John. Bye. <laughs> Nearly set to go. I wonder how my doggy pal Samson's getting on. I love to sit in river seat bingo, river seat bingo by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, that's for me. Boys, do you think you could find me a nice treat for Samson here? That's fun! Oh, this one here? Oh, fantastic! Oh. 
off because he misses Dr. Juno, doesn't he? There, we'll play with that, won't we? He'll get plenty exercise running after that ball, won't he? More than Dr. Juno gets in our bike. Fare thee well, Dr. Juno. Crossing. Oh no! Just joking! <laughs> <laughs> We're here to make sure you have a relaxing journey before your sponsored bike ride. Oh, you guys! <laughs> well, hey! We're off! Time to start work! Oh, the fairy boat band, they play the fairy boat sails away, floating down the river to the ocean waves. Captain steers his way as engine found a way, turning down the river to the rhythm of the band. The radar swings, the very band sings. The captain taps his satellite map, sailing out to sea on the noon tide. Clap your hands to the ferry boat band, wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beats. Swing to the sway like the waves on the sand, bump to the music and stamp your feet. The waiters serve and sway, clattering the trays to the splash of the waves. The sailors work away as passengers dream their day, eating in the buffet as the ferry band play. Oh, sailing out to sea, riding on the waves, rocking to the ocean roar as the ferry boat band did play some more. Clap your hands to the ferry boat band, wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beats. Swing to the sway like the waves on the sand Bob to the music and stamp your feet Clap your hands to the ferry boat band Wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beat Swing to the sway like the waves on the sand Bob to the music and stamp your feet Which way to go? Turn right. Turn right. for a rest before I go back. I wonder whether Samson's getting as much exercise as I am. Will we go this way or will we go that way? That, that way. way! Come on in! Let's go this way! Round we go, that's it! Come on, Samson! Oh, all those leaves! Crunch, crunch, crunch! <laughs> We've been here before, haven't we? Yes. Oh, we'll go that way! Oh, look, Samson! There's a lady on our bike! Who does that remind you of? <coughs> Now, Samson, I have to make my way back to the ferry. Two kilometres, Tony Edouard. My sat nav is talking to me in French, but I can't understand French. I don't know my way back to the ferry boat, and if I don't hurry, I'm going to miss the ferry home. 
Where did the time go? At seven o'clock this morning, I called into Granny Murray to drop off Samson. She was going to look after him for the day while I went on a sponsored bicycle ride. At eight o'clock, I arrived at the hospital and Nurse Henry came to see me. He prepared a special bag with all kinds of things in it that I might need for the long journey on my bicycle. I was about to leave when Mickey John dropped in. He lent me his satellite navigation unit so I could find my way around without getting lost. Mickey John showed me that the sat-nav unit could speak in French as well as English. At nine o'clock, I set off on my bicycle. At 10 o'clock, I was on board the ferry boat and ready to set sail. At one and two o'clock, I cycled along the canal. At three o'clock, I stopped at the end of my journey for a rest before I returned. I was just about to set off again when I pressed a button on my sat-nav unit. I don't know what I pressed, but it started speaking to me in French. And I don't understand French. Now remember, a smile works wonders. A smile works wonders. Hello, excuse me, hi. Bonjour. Oh, can you help? Je ne parle que le français, pardon. Oh, oh, well, I'm trying to get back to the ferry boat. Um, and my sat nav only speaks French. Oh. Ah, ah, attendez. Ah, je vois. Vous devez rentrer chez vous. Vous cherchez le chemin pour le bac. OK, suivez-moi. Hein? Oh, OK. I have to get back to the ferry boat. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. to worry that you'd missed the ferry boat. Had a bad day? Get lost. Had trouble with the language? Shall, Shall we, we just sing the song? song. <laughs> With the ferry boat band, they play the ferry boat sails away, floating down the river to the ocean waves. The captain steers his way as engine pound away, churning down the river to the rhythm of the band. The radar swings, the ferry the captain taps his satellite map Sailing out to sea on the noon tide Clap your hands to the ferry boat band Wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beats Swing to the sway like the waves on the sand Bob to the music and stamp your feet Clap your hands to the ferry boat band Wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beats Swing to the sway like the waves on the sand Bob to the music And you'll get to see Samson. Ready? Way through this time. Are we ready? Oops, one, two, three. Hey! Clever boy, Samson. One, two, three. Yay! Oh, and you're so good and patient. You've waited all day for Dr. Juno. Don't worry, Samson. She'll be here soon to take you home. See who's here, Samson. Hello, Samson. <laughs> Good boy. Samson would like to say thank you, Granny Murray, and thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. A smile works wonders. It saved the day. It never did. <laughs> Come on now, you'll want to be all. <laughs> 
fine, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed from top to toe in flags. He did look a sight. Dr Juno stopped by to drop off Samson. She needed someone to look after him for the day because she was going abroad on a sponsored bike ride. I gave Dr Juno a little flag to take away to wish her luck on her trip. I took Samson to the pet shop and we bought him a new ball. Then we went to the nature reserve with the children. We walked for miles and miles. Later on, I gave Samson his ball and we played in the garden. Dr Juno had adventures too and found her way all the way to Belgium and back on her bike because she found that a smile worked wonders. So, Dr Juno raised money for the hospital and had a fantastic day out. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Or should I say, au revoir. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home to who's here today. Well, we've got Megan and we've got Sean. But don't just sit there, frittles. Come on, let's get busy. See? <gasps> yes, we're going to make some special flags. There's a stick. We'll just tape this on. Granny Murray's... Oh! these children? Help me! Help me! <laughs> so, now you put lots of glue and stick it on your flag. Push down so it's really stuck hard. This is our Megan flag! Well, we've got Megan and we've got Sean, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore! Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Whose legs are those coming down the steps? Oh, yes, it's Jack with Rudy. Hello there. <laughs> Rudy! Hi, Hi Granny Murray. There and Jack. Well done. <laughs> Go on, Maggie. <laughs> Woo, it sounds busy in here. <laughs> oh, it is. There's a lot of waving going on. We'll be making flags, Jack. Woo! Now Jack's here, we'll dress Claude up as an old sea captain. <laughs> there we are, that's the way. And we can dock ourselves over by the chairs. Oh, OK. Oh, I am looking forward to taking the children to see the docks. All the boats coming and going. I like to imagine that I'm standing on the deck with a breeze blowing in my face. <laughs> I much prefer to have my feet firmly planted on dry land, Granny Murray. <laughs> Not like Louie, however. She's been all over the world. She knows everything there is to know about all the different countries. Oh, I'll bet she does. Mm, not like me. I'm a bit of a homebody, I'm afraid. I don't know that much at all, really. <laughs> well, we've all got something to teach and we've all got something to learn. <laughs> and speaking of which, I'd better be up and away to the market. <laughs> oh, look at Captain Claude. Oh. There we are. <laughs> Ahoy there, Captain Claude. <laughs> oh, well done, my flowers. <laughs> I'd best be off. I've got a flag for you and it's got a picture of me on it. A picture of you? Yes. <gasps> well, I will wave that all day. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Thanks, Jack. I'll pop that in me bag and you can give me a cuddle. <coughs> right, have a good day. Yeah. Good boy. Come on, <laughs> See you later. See you later, Dad. Now remember, we've all got something to teach and we've all got something to learn. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, darling. I'll be thinking of you. <laughs> me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Rudy and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm on my way to work today I'm walking me shoes through the city views I'm stepping along and I'm swinging me arms And I'm singing my way through the city's charms 
Getting there, it's just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always go the way I know But can you tell me the way I go? OK, which way? And do I go left now? Or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? And which way is right? Right! OK, that way, to the market I'm on my way to work today I'm going this way and that away Hello cobbles Hello train Hello roadworks Hello tram Hello sweeper Hello van He's on his way to work today Looking this way and that away Hey! Do I go up now? Or do I go down? Which way's a smile now? And which way's a frown? Ah! What, this way? You told me the way to go Thank you, you showed me the way I know So here we are now what? Ah, yeah, I need to get changed for work. <laughs> All dressed and ready to go. <sighs> Hi, Rudy. Nice to see you hard at work this early in the morning. <laughs> Hello, Mickey John. So, you off to school? Yes, I'm off to teach, but I've still got a lot to learn. You know, it's my philosophy that everyone should learn something new every day. Oh, yeah. I learn tons from all the various people I meet here at the market. Like me, for instance. <laughs> oh, you got it, Mickey John. Hey, maybe you could teach me some fascinating facts about all the things on my stall. You know, facts about fruit and veg and that. Oh, that's a great idea. And we'll start with a potato. Oh, I'm going to love finding out things about the potato. Thanks, Rudy. Oh. I'll go off and make some notes and come right back. See you later, Mickey John. I can't wait to tell that to Jack. <laughs> oh, look at that big red funnel! Yeah, look at the big red funnel. Like that? Oh, Captain Jack, where are you taking us, me hearty? <laughs> Oh, your dad would just love it here. I'm getting a bit seasick. Oh, I'm getting seasick too. Oh, wobbly, 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 wobbly. I miss you, Daddy. Hey, Rudy, oh. listen to this. Oh, li listen to what? Well, I found this great book, The Secret Life of Potatoes. Farmers in the Andes Mountains discovered the potato 7,000 years ago. <laughs> That's Andy. At first, people in this country didn't like the idea of eating potatoes. Why? I don't know. Then everyone started eating potatoes when they realised they had good things in them. Like vitamins, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Plus the fact that they taste really, really good. So let me see if I've got this right. Um, potatoes were discovered by farmers. Uh, they were discovered in the Andes. And um, people in this country didn't like to eat them, really, until, well, until they discovered that they were full of vitamins and stuff. Oh, thanks, Mickey John. Right, oh, well, I better get this back to school before the library opens. Oh. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> right, and I better get down to some hard work. And do be do be do. I make it look easy. What I do be do be do. And what I do is sell to you and you and you all of the veggies for a stew. But it's more than meets the eye. What I do for you as I buy and buy While you still sleep those fruit and veg to eat And the flowers in the early hours So when wake up comes It's there for you The market stalls are there to view the market, the market, what a wonderful place. Oh, the hub of the people, the smiles on each face. Oh, the market, the market, come look around. Oh, the hustle, the bustle, the bubbles of sound. The colours all chaotic and spilling about. The smells all exotic, yeah, the market cries out. 
objects to excite you and draw you near. The buying and the selling, cheap or dear. The market, the market, I just love to be there. The market is a wonderful place. 7,000 metres up the Andes. Uh, oh, no, 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 not metres. Um, 7,000 years ago in the Andes. Oh. Um, you got any water, Chris? Oh, hello, Chuck. Um, oh, you know, do you know, I sold the last one just before. Sorry. How are you? You look a bit stressed. Oh, it's just Mickey John. He told me that I should try and learn something new every day. Sounds good to me. Right. Uh, the potato. <laughs> Um, did you know that the potato was discovered 7,000 years ago um, by some farmers in the, um, in the Andes? Oh, uh, fascinating! Oh, <laughs> that good, eh? Maybe you should think about a way of brightening it up. Just imagine telling it to Jack and make it so that he would enjoy it. Oh, that's a fantastic idea, Chuck. Oh, thanks, I'll try that. I'll see you later then. <laughs> Bye-bye. Right. Got to pretend I'm telling it to Jack. Oh, <laughs> that'll work. <laughs> I wonder what you're up to now, Jack. Wow, do you see that ship over there? Well, that's called a cargo boat, and it's carrying all different things from all over the world. Do you know what? I bet it's got some exotic fruits and vegetables in it, Jack. <laughs> it might even end up on your daddy's stall. Are you having fun, Daddy? I hope Jack's having a good time at the docks today. Hi, Rudy. Hi, Rudy. <laughs> oh, hello, Tina. Hang on a minute, love. Let me just serve Tina. Um, how are you doing today, Tina? Oh, I'm fine. In a rush, as usual. Um, I'll take a bag of potatoes, please. Oh, a bag of potatoes, you say? <clears throat> Did you know, Tina, that the potato was discovered 7,000 years ago, high up in the Andes, um, by farmers? Um, and originally, in Europe, the potato... I, 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 I'm sorry, Rudy, but... I really don't have time for this. I'll uh, pop back later. But, Bye, Louie. Bye. But what about your potatoes? Oh, was it something I said? Oh, Rudy, you're going to scare off all your customers if you carry on like that. I know, but, but what did I do wrong? I've, I've been working really hard all day trying to teach my customers interesting facts about fruit and veg, and I do keep on scaring them off. Oh, I'm going to need to do better than this if I want to sell anything today, but, but how? Where did the time go? At six o'clock, I dropped Jack off at Granny Murray's. The children had been busy making flags because they were going to go to the docks later. They even dressed Claude up like a ship's captain. Jack gave me a lovely flag that he'd made with his picture on it. At seven o'clock, I was getting ready to start work when Mickey John stopped by. He told me he thought it was a good idea for people to learn something new each day. At eight o'clock, Mickey John came back with a book full of fascinating facts all about potatoes. I decided to try potato facts out on my customers. At 10 o'clock, the first customer I tried it on was Chuck. She thought it was a bit dry and that I should imagine I was talking to Jack to make it more lively. At 1 o'clock, I was telling Tina some interesting potato facts, but she said she didn't have time to listen and she left without buying her potatoes. Now remember, we've all got something to teach and we've all got something to learn. Hmm. We've all got something to teach. And we've all got something to learn. Well, I've got something to teach, and what I've got to learn is how I can make it more fun. <laughs> Come on, Louis, give us a hand. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. I like a busy bee. I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's going to do it? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Right, come on, ladies and gentlemen, get your fruit and veg from all around the world. Learn a little something with everything you buy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry I had to rush off. Oh, no, don't worry about it, Tina. Hey, listen, what would you like? We have got some lovely juicy oranges from Spain. 
We've got tatties from Scotland. We've got apples from England. Lovely juicy grapes all the way from France. Lemons and limes from Greece. And bananas from the West Indies. This is really fascinating. I'll take some tatties from Scotland, a bunch of those West Indian bananas, I'll have a bag of Spanish oranges, and I'll have some of those lovely looking French grapes. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Rudy. You certainly taught me something new today. Oh, no, no, no. You're the one that's taught me something, Tina. <laughs> Never bore my customers. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was really interesting. Oh, thanks, Bye. Tina. See you later. Bye. Oh, that was fun. Wonder if Jack's been having fun with Granny Murray. <laughs> Here we are, my darling. That's us. Do you think these bananas came in one of those boats that we were looking at today? Maybe. Maybe, my darling. <laughs> That's you. Well Thank done. You. Do you know... I know somebody who's not going to be coming across the sea, but he's going to be coming across town to pick you up. Who do you think? Daddy! Yay! Daddy's coming. I want to be with you, Daddy. Ricky! Come Hi, away through. Someone to see you, Jack! Hello, Daddy. Hey, give us a cuddle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you've had a great time with Granny Murray. Yep, we certainly did. Go on, say thanks to Granny Murray. Thank oh. you, Granny Murray. Oh, it's a pleasure, my angel. <laughs> oh, and thanks loads from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you told me. We've all got something to teach and we've all got something to learn. And it saved the day. <laughs> thanks, Rudy. Right, come on, you two. You'd better be off. <laughs> come on, mate. There you go. <laughs> Looking forward to next time. Me too. Bye. Come on, Jack. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, wigging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shooting, choosing, talking, cooking. What was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as the captain of a ship because we were going down to the river to look at the ships at the docks. The children and I had great fun making our own flags and Jack gave his to Rudy to take to the market. Later on, when Rudy was busy working, I took the children to look at all the different ships in the transport museum. Then we saw even more ships when we went to the dockside. We wondered about all the different countries they had come from and what cargo they might be carrying. Jack and I thought that some of them might have been carrying fruit and veg for the market. When Jack and I were enjoying a banana, we wondered if it might have come across the sea on one of the boats we saw today. And Rudy remembered that we all have things to learn and we all have things to teach. Maybe this one came over on one of those boats too. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. I love to sip and river sea things, go river sea things, go by the sea. I love to sip and river sea things, go river sea things, go that for me. Come on and get on down to the city, where the fairy folk stands the blue. Time to call on Granny Mom.